Can you hear me? Yeah. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, brother. Talk to me. What are we? Uh, why are we looking at this game? What's what's uh, what's the plan today? So I have. Hold on a second. I actually have a notes file on my phone that I wanted to go over. So, um, yeah. So like I, I said in chat, I don't necessarily think that like this lane went super poorly. Um, mm -hmm. I think as a concept though, like when I like I have games like this where and it's really bad against roaming mid laners. Like I think that I play well into control mages, like into like ranged characters, but against uh. Like I, I guess Akshan and Tristan are somewhat similar in my mind, right? Or like, um, like Talon or uh, let's see, let's some other champs. But I mean, re regardless, it doesn't matter. Like those types of champions, um, I feel like a lot of my games are like coin flipped. Like, so last season I was like VOD reviewing, and I came to mm -hmm. realization I was like, wow, I die a lot, like a lot. I need to stop doing that. So I took it from, like, one extreme to where I was, like, sprinting games, just, like, limit testing every game right. to, like, I was, like, as long as I don't die, and, like, I think that that's why my win rate on Azir is really high, because I'm, like, as long as I don't die, like, four times in lane like I used to, I'll just fail and I'll just win. But when I play against these types of champions, like Akshan or, like I said, Talon, etc., where... Mm -hmm. like Rome like I feel like I lose to coin flip mid laners a lot yeah if that makes sense well if your mentality going into it is I just will play to not die then yeah you are you're gonna lose to those kinds of mid laners that's is that like so you go into these kinds of matchups with that mentality is what you're saying so kind of yeah so like specifically against Akshan I had a Jace game where I played against Akshan and he turbo fisted me I think I have PTSD from that champion so now like when I went into this match, especially because he took ignite, I was like, I just don't want to get like cheese killed because you can even see it in the way that I play the wave. It looks really troll, but like, like I said, I I think the first like seven to eight minutes played like it the the lane played out the way that I wanted it to, if that makes sense. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I I kind of went into this lane like, okay, as long as I don't get solo killed, then like I think it'll be okay because like I think in a nutshell that I'll outscale Akshan, especially with like. Belveth and like zillion like i think our comp wins like the later that the game goes on which that could also be wrong but yeah like originally going into this game i was like i just don't want to die in my lane so a few things let's mm -hmm. start from um the don't want to die thing so yeah. the reason i ban action mm -hmm. is because the champs laning phase a baby could play it and it would be re really hard to kill him. Like it'd be really hard to, to be yeah, for sure in laning phase. So this whole thing where you, where I was, where you're saying like play not to die. Mm -hmm. um, and then you say you, you lose to coin flip mid laners that that's why you lose to coin flip mid laners because th th the problem is to consistently win. You have to be able to win mid pressure mid, prevent them from doing things if you're not doing that especially against those kinds of champs you're talking about then yeah they're yeah. gonna just coin flip their way to winning yeah. so i ban action because it, you try to push he could be in stealth next to you 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 don't push he stealths and roams like and then it's very hard to actually beat him he the champ auto wins any lane with just auto attacks like there's not much counterplay to it yeah um but the most important thing here is like mentality wise you mm -hmm. so you're kind of going through the growing pains, I guess, where like you said, you went from one side to the other, like you used to die a lot. Then you're like, okay, I just need to don't die, but it needs to be in the middle somewhere. You need to be yeah. pressuring and also not dying. Yeah. Um, that's what makes a good mid laner mm -hmm. because when you're doing that, then you're preventing the enemy, the enemy mid from roaming. You're getting leads on the enemy mid. You're wasting enemy jungler's time, you know, yeah. stuff like that. So that is why I ban Action. There is no, it's, it's just a headache dealing with that. Who do you normally ban? Uh, I usually either ban Aurelia or Karma. Aurelia, I can, I, that ban makes sense. Karma, I don't think I don't as that, much. Like I said, that champ, like kind of the same thing as the Akshan, like last season, like an Akshan turbo fist muted lane. And I'm like, I do not ever want to play against that champion. And the same thing happened this season. I guess like, I don't know if they nerfed Karma or whatever, because I haven't seen anybody they pick did. her. Because I haven't, I haven't really banned her like recently, because it's mostly just been Aurelia. And I've just been like, 
I really hope they don't pick Karma. But yeah, I felt like that champ was like just so OP. I was like, I would rather play against anything else than have to play against that on the enemy team. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Karma's all right, but yeah, her, her they did nerf her Q a little bit, and her laning's actually it can be exploitable. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was I was watching NACL, and I think it was Byrax was playing Azir. I don't know who they were playing, but he played Azir into Karma, and mm -hmm. he like mega shit on whoever yeah. he was playing and i was like maybe i'm just bad at this matchup so like i went through on like youtube and i think this is what helped me a lot too because like all the champs that i play like i'll just go on youtube and google like like i was really bad at playing azir into talon so i just googled azir versus talon challenger hey. mid lane and then whatever they did for the first four waves like i just copied that like every time and i that... think that that made my laning a lot better i guess well you know, co blindly copying is a little bit of a trap, but the good thing is yeah. that's actually how I learned the game in general. Like, every, I would play solo queue. Any matchups I didn't understand properly, I would just type yeah. in it on YouTube and watch it when I went to bed. So that's good. You should definitely keep doing that. Um, yeah. Before I forget, the whole scaling thing, you guys definitely don't outscale. Yeah. Uh, they have Jinx, Lulu, Gwen, Alawi falls off hella hard. Yeah. Um, It's not that you get, like, giga, giga outscaled, but... You definitely don't yeah. want to scale. And, and to be honest with you, I never, like, when I'm playing, I'm never like, ah, oh, don't worry, guys, we outscale. Like, I'm never thinking like that because the game just doesn't work that way. Like, people FF when picking scaling champs nonstop. They, they, yeah. they don't, solo queue is solo queue. All that matters is you. Comp doesn't yeah. really matter. You know, scaling doesn't matter. That's why, like, I have to ban, like, banning action makes it so, like, He's the only lane where it's like can be actually unwinnable if the player has hands. So any other lane you can win. Uh, I mean, Akali is like action on Akali are basically the same when it comes to laning. They're, they're both really, yeah. really, really gross. Yeah. Uh, action is a little bit less counterplay than Akali, <laughs> unironically. But yeah. um, point is, we need to play for lane. We need to play to win lane. Still not die. Pool jungle pressure. Um and that'll help with the whole losing to coin flip champs. So we'll see what this yeah. looks like. But okay, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm a lot weaker on Oriana than I am on Azir. Um, I just wanted to put that out there because when I want to watch the other Azir game that I played today, where I played against Victor, mm -hmm. because I also struggle against that champion for some reason. I mean, anyway, it doesn't matter for the sake of this vod. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. So I see you went comet. Does that mean you're doing like three points W type stuff? Yeah, so um, I saw this video on YouTube. It was like I think it was on like today on the Super Server or something mm -hmm. where Faker was playing into Azir. Um, I guess just like ranged matchups. I saw that and I was like, hmm, that feels pretty, or that, that like seems like it'd be pretty good. And so I played a couple games of it and I was like, wow, that does feel pretty good. So mm -hmm. and I'd also like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not very experienced in like Akshan like Oriana matchups, mm -hmm. but I figured that like I think Comet is better for short trading, and I don't want to like. I don't want to get into like a fist fight with Akshan and then like, yeah. you know, just auto him to death. You know what I mean? So I figured yeah. Comet would like help me in lane, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's, I think it'd be okay in this matchup. Okay, so let's see. You can see my screen, right? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Right. Minions have spawned. You should definitely take an attack speed. Well, I mean, I think with the combat build, it's not too bad to go. Um, double AP. I thought I did. I thought I did go attack speed. Maybe I didn't. Mm -mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. I feel like I should have punished him right there for sure. Well, especially with bone plating, I feel like it might have been okay to trade autos there. Well, it's not that it's not okay to trade autos. Um, and it's not that big of a deal that you missed. It's just mm -hmm. with Ori Q in a situation like this. Yeah. Whoops. Ori, Ori Q in a situation like this, when they're running directly at you, yeah. really the only way he should be able to dodge this is moving backwards. Yeah. So if he dodged it by just moving to the side this close, it means you didn't like put your mouse on him. It means you were yeah. aiming somewhere to the side of him. Yeah. So like a scenario like this, he, he, to be honest, he can't really dodge this. Like I said, he yeah. has to be backwards. So, like, we can see if we slow it where you actually put your Q. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, thought he, I thought he was going to backstep, and then he just ran forward, and I was like, wow, that guy, like, 
just kind of mind game the shit out of me. <laughs> he probably didn't even do it on purpose. He was just walking over toward this this rush. Yeah. I mean this uh, camp. But either way, um, so yeah, it's not that you need to trade autos. You just need to queue into auto, and then that would have been good. But not, not, yeah. not a big deal. So I don't the the way that I played this, I guess, looks weird in hindsight. Now that like you explained the mindset behind it, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like the correct play here would have obviously been to like play for Pryo. Mm -mm. Right? No, 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 no. So okay. playing for Pryo means like, yeah, you're pl you're playing to like push them in, right? But yeah, you cannot push him in. He'll beat the shit out of you. Okay. So certain matchups you have to play. So like, if you lose, basically, if you're weaker level one, yeah. Like especially like this, like you are much weaker level one. So if if you're yeah. much weaker level one like this. You can't play to push the wave because you walk up, you use Q on the wave. He just, you have no cooldown. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll, just, he'll just hit me, right? Right. So, yeah. you need to play for, like, he's going to push. It's going to hit your tower and then push back to him. Then yeah. you use your wave to, then you'll get level advantages. You'll have the minion advantage. And then you can try to defend yourself. Yeah, um, like, I, I should just play for high HP, right? Because... If I'm high or if yes. I'm low HP on the bounce, then, yes. then the lane is like super over. Whereas like, because I ended up playing it correctly then. So because when, I like, sorry, go ahead. When you said play for Pryo, I'm curious why you would say so, why you would say that. Like, what? Why would you? Why do you think you should do that? Why do you think you should um, play for Pryo? Well, like I think Pry like what I meant by Pryo was just like obviously playing for level two. Like hmm. I, this sounds like really dumb whenever I say it out loud, but like in my head, <laughs> like the game always goes much better if i'm in control of the lane of right course. or if like if i'm dictating the flow of how the lane goes mm -hmm. so like if i can hit level two then like i can manage my wave correctly and then third wave crash and then i can recall on whatever timer hecarim yeah. is coming to gank or whatever because like akshan's really strong at level three right because he'll get like his e and then his or like what is it two points q and e or something like that like he it, it's bad for me for the wave to be coming to me and me to try to fight him because he can just run me down the lane so Right. If I had to ask you, when do you think, at what point do you think you can actually hold your own with Hackshot? What level? I mean, he has Ignite and I have TP, so probably not for like a while. Like probably, I mean, I, honestly, I don't even know if I can, even at one item. Like, I mean, I'm assuming one item, but I so, think I would have to play that perfectly. And I still think that it's bad for me. Basically, you can't actually trade with him reliably. Until yeah. you have points in your abilities, meaning like, th if you're going to the three points W, so like level eight, yeah. Um, because before then, if you walk up, like you can do a little bit of poke to him, but mm -hmm. it's nothing substantial, especially when he has fleet and he's gonna be pushing right. nonstop. But once you actually get substantial damage on your QW, then yeah. the, the damage will stick a bit, and you can actually pressure him hard. Doesn't mean to not poke him at all. You should be yeah. trying to proc mana flow off cooldown, especially. But yeah. basically, because you were talking about, oh, I, I like when I can control the lane. Yeah, mm -hmm. fuck yeah. <laughs> we definitely want to be able to control the, the flow of the lane, can, like have the control of the wave. Sadly, yeah. against champs like this, you don't control anything. It's all yeah. him. It's up to him to lose. It's in his hands to lose the lane, not in your hands to win the lane, sadly. Yeah, okay. Because I wrote that in my notes where like I specifically said... Like, I feel like in this game specifically, I felt kind of like a passenger, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Or I was like, sorry, you, you can play it. But anyway, like the my, my teammates end up like just super sprinting this game. And mm -hmm. I was like, I felt like there was nothing that I could do to like even try to to try to win, like to try to make advantages to come back and like try to win this game. Yeah, that's another another reason why I banned this champ, because like, yeah, like we said, we need to win lane to like consistently win the game to have control over the game. But yeah. he doesn't let yeah, you win sure. lane. So, yeah. yeah, it's like if your teammates run it and you're against Akshan, it's just so miserable. But yeah, um, it doesn't mean he's completely unbeatable, especially yeah. uh, all the Akshan players are just... A lot of the Akshan players in lane are make big mistakes because the champion like carries them so hard in lane that they don't yeah. realize it. Yeah. So the way you're going to beat this guy, the way you mm -hmm. can beat him is like... so. He does have to hit you with either the Q, which he can't reach. Like he can't reach you with Q unless he hits minions first. If if yeah. you, but you can reach him with your Q. Um, yeah. So the way you beat him is kind of outspacing him like that. You need to be yeah. like right now. You have Q up. He has Q up. If you're to the side of the wave here and you walk up and throw your Q, 
and like mm. move backwards while doing it, that's like free poke that he can't he can't do anything to you about it. He'll still push, yeah. but you should be looking for that and it should be procking mana flow and comet off cooldown. Yeah, so so like where I'm standing at is probably pretty bad then, right? Like yeah. I should be standing more off to the right. Yep, okay. right here. Yeah. Um Oh yeah, the other thing I was gonna say was so you said you wanted to look at two laning phases. Normally with the VOD reviews, we'll look at one VOD like mid or early, mid, and late game. But yeah. you would rather just do two laning phases. Correct. Yeah. That's fine. I yeah. think yeah. I just I don't know. So like I I've been playing this game for a really long time. And over like the past year, I think is really the time where I've started to like take it seriously, mm. I guess, because I I've played a lot of games and I I have a friend of mine who's like GM, like 400 LP or something, and he told me, he was like, you should just try to play the first four waves perfectly every game. Yeah, yeah. Like, you should you should try to play the first four waves perfectly every single game, and that alone is going to keep you from losing, like, a lot of games. Like, as long as you just don't sprint it in the first four waves, the game gets a lot easier. So, like, I, I think that my mid mid game and, like, my macro game is, like, pretty good, but I think that, like, my levels one through six is like kind of rough still Th those are like the hardest that's like the hardest part of the game but so you're yeah. you're whoever told you that's like on the right track um mm -hmm. you just basically yeah you need to optimize your laning phase and like really put a lot of thought into laning and and because laning is the hardest part of the game but it's the most yeah. consistent way to get leads and that's how you be consistent in general so yeah for sure and these players have like the players i'm going into masters don't know how to lane at the moment so <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> so you can abuse laning for sure. Uh, yeah. So, like, you gotta remember when you're playing a champ with mana, like there's mana region, right? So yeah. if you're sitting at capped mana like you have been this whole time, mm -hmm. you're just wasting mana, essentially. Yeah. So because you have nothing else to do, really, like you have to let him push, mm -hmm. you, can, you can, especially when he's still level one, once he's level two, it, it's much more dangerous to do anything. But... This whole time yeah. he's been level one, you should be trying to hit, like, throw cues at him to yeah, proc like I, have, I, haven't, I haven't done anything, like, this whole laning phase. I've just, like, I've just stood back and basically say, okay. And why'd you do this right here? When this wave pushed in, why didn't you let know. the ranged ones hit the, hit the so, tower? Yeah, so, I don't know, to be honest. I think that was just, like, a reflex that I had from, like, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I did that, because I realized as soon as I did it, I was like... I just took a bunch of damage for free. That was kind of dumb. I should have just let this hit. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I can last it under tower. There was no point to freeze this here, so. Right. It's, yeah, I asked because this is such a common issue I see. Everyone I coach, I swear, has this thing where they, like, want to... have to pull the wave. Yeah, they want to pull yeah. the wave. They want to freeze. Uh, I'm not sure how that started with a lot of people. Like, this weird like, I think, fixation on it, but... Yeah, I think the... I don't know. I think the concept that I had was like, if if I pull the wave, because like, so if he two wave crashes, I think that that's like bad for me. Like, I would almost rather him third wave crash it so I can be a higher level. Like, I don't know. I didn't want to like, I'm just really scared of this wave, like pushing out and him running me down the lane and killing me. Okay, so two wave crash means you can hit level three first. Yeah. So two wave crash is good. Yeah. If this is like this guy like hard pushing this first wave, that's very yeah. good for you. Yeah. Because look, I'm gonna explain why. Yeah. So if you let this wave hit your tower right here, mm -hmm. these minions right here, they stop right here, right? Because they're hitting these. Yeah, it won't even push out to the middle of the lane. It'll it's probably good. stop like there, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be right here. And then what happens from there? It starts slow pushing towards him. Yeah. So like you actually could hit level two first if you let this crash. Yeah, you would hit level two first, and you'd hit level three first because he griefs so hard. Like this is what I'm talking about with action players. Yeah. Like he has no thought whatsoever in what he just did. There was no thought. He literally just right clicked the wave. Yeah, and he cr he pushed the wave so fast that it would crash the first wave, and so it would give you a slow push. His wave would come in. The tower would even help you. You hit level two first, yeah. and then you because the slow push started all the way from here instead of like in mm -hmm. the middle of the lane. You'd also hit level three first because the third wave would come, and you yeah. would actually have control over the first three levels of this lane when you never, ever, ever, ever should. Yeah, yeah, he like super griefed by doing that. That was that was really bad. I actually like gifted him back the lane whenever yep. I pulled this wave. Yep. So okay. that's basically the takeaway here is 
Uh, I mean, it could be autopilot, whatever it is. Like, there yeah. needs to be a purpose behind these things. And, yeah, uh, for sure. Because, yeah, he griefed, and now it's kind of back in his favor. Yeah. All right, so now he'll hit two first. All right, finally hit him, at least. Proc the mana flow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's fine. I go pick up the ball. Good. Yeah, walk up, walk up, walk up. So look right here, you gotta be way yeah. more confident. Yeah. Why? Yeah, for sure. Um I mean it's just like it's just better for me, right? I mean he can't run me down the lane because I'm close to my tower. Like he can't really E on me here, so it's better for me to just Something walk more up important and just than that. W. What's about to happen here? It's about to slow push to him. How many right. minions is he from level three? One. Right. How many? Uh, yeah, one. And how many low health melee minions are there? Zero, right? And look mm. at yours. Yeah, yeah. I'll hit three before him for sure. So like, I could like, I could like walk up and queue through it as well. Mm-hmm. So like, you're about to hit three. So this is a punish window, and this is why I said. So yeah. he did a two wave crash, like pr pretty much, and this is why I said this is good for you. Yeah. Because it means you hit level three first, which again yeah. should not happen. Yeah, so, for sure. The, he's giving you a bunch of ways to punish him just through wave control stuff yeah. at the moment. We just need to take them. So like right here, you need yeah. to grab this, hit level three, go in. You could even go two points W here, do QW. I mean, Oh, yeah, for sure. I would like mega shit on him. It wouldn't even be close. But there is value in having E as well. Um, yeah. Because it does damage and, you know, being able to reposition the ball. But either one, no matter yeah. what you do, point is we need to hit level three. Yeah, regardless, I should be, I should be punishing here. But... Yeah, because it looks like... You're not even thinking about the fact you're about to. Oh level three. yeah, yeah, definitely not. I was not. I didn't even realize that. Look, he's still not level three. Yeah. So yeah, he's kind of just getting away with shit, right there. Yeah, for sure. So that was so a few punish windows there. Um, now with Ori against champs like Akshan, actually mm -hmm. with Ori in general, um, with with linear skill shot champs, Ezreal, Ori, Mundo, mm -hmm. um. Half of the battle is like, so you want to be walking towards him, yeah, and like to the point where he wants to turn and auto you. So you'd be walking into here and then preemptively yeah. clicking back, and then he's gonna yeah. click you and run towards you. That's when you throw your Q. Yep. Okay. Yeah, um, that makes sense. That makes it very easy to land it, uh, yeah. and then they kind of have to, they have to adjust to that, which is really hard for them. Um, they <laughs> yeah. ha they have to know that like how to play against Ori. Like they have to know. That they got to play the footsies game, bait your Q yeah. out, and then move to the other side of the lane. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if we'll see that here, if this guy knows, but that's the that's the plan. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, other problem I see here. Mm -hmm. So, you're slow pushing, and that's good. Yeah. Um, you could even pop your potion now, because he mm -hmm. is that dangerous of a champ. Um, yeah. There's no, no real value holding on to it. So, you could pop your potion now, and then the other thing is... You, you have so much mana and you have mana flow and like you should be a little like a little bit further up to the yeah. side of the wave so he can't Q you and the wave. Yeah. And then you defend the wave. If you sit back like this, he can walk up and like auto nonstop, Q it and thin it. You don't want to yeah. let him like fuck with your slow push. So yeah. don't let him hit you in the wave and defend your yep. wave. Okay. Not like overextend, but like up I think, here. I, I think I was just scared of hitting him in the wave and like pushing it too fast because um, i don't want to like because i don't want to push it too fast right uh yeah no, no, i mean i you don't have really have to worry about that too much here okay. um because you got to think of it like this like when you if you qw him and it hits these mm -hmm. backline range minions that doesn't actually push the wave that much faster killing the melee yeah. ones pushes it faster okay because you're just damaging the backline ones they're not dying they're still still shooting non-stop yeah even with low yeah, hp um, but if you kill the melee ones, then the ranged ones die fast, right? So, yeah, yeah you okay. don't have to. That, that's just like overcomplicated a little bit because defending yeah. your wave is more important here. If if yeah, you for sure. if you don't hit him and contest him because you're afraid of him, or because you're afraid to push too fast, he just gets control of the lane back anyway by autoing. So, yeah, he shouldn't be able to sit here and freely auto like this. Yeah, that should be like super illegal. Yeah, every every time he goes for that, like a CS like that too, 
It needs to yeah. be QW. Yeah. So as you can see, he's kind of already done it. Yeah. He's already thinned out the wave just with like the, the Chuck E. Cheese devil autos. So yeah. that you can prevent that um, and yeah. punish him every time he tries. So yeah. he brought Fleet for whatever reason, um, which actually mm -hmm. lets you have a little bit of a chance. Like if he has PTA, yeah. you have oh, no yeah. chance. Yeah. So that's another thing you can abuse here. That's how you yeah. know like he doesn't have as much damage as he should. Mm -hmm. Um because like yeah, you see it like just way too far back. Way too far yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, full mana, throw the ball out, pop pop the mana flow. Now he's pushed because it looks like you're trying to keep the wave on this side. That's not what we want though. Yeah, that's definitely what I was trying to do for sure. Like that's rarely ever gonna be the case. It's so okay. rare that you're gonna be wanting to keep the wave on your side unless you're freezing because they have to recall or they're roaming and you're punishing it like that. Otherwise, you want to be slow pushing and or, or just pushing in general. Yeah. So you have minion advantage, tempo advantage, prio, all yeah. all that good stuff. Okay. Um, because now, look, so if you did what you were supposed to do there, mm -hmm. punished him for his shitty way of control, slow push back into him. Like, see, this is something you could be at or could yeah. go to. This right here. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Big picture that. Yeah. I can definitely see how that would. Like I, I can see my mistakes a lot more clearly now because, like I said, I especially whenever you wrap it into like the top situation. Like if I have prior here, like I can just move. Like right. especially because he fucked up the wave so bad. Like if mm -hmm. I just would have played it correctly, like I could have been top lane. Mm -hmm. And like so, so I guess, you know, in the next game, this might not be here, but the point is you have the option. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's yeah. like sometimes, like if he has PTA, especially that might be the best you're going to get. Sometimes you can't get leads. So, like, yeah. this game's a good example of how you can outclass the enemy mid, not through mm -hmm. killing them, because the champ doesn't allow you to, but yeah. through better wave control, because yeah. you yeah, should never have sure. Pryo here, ever. Yeah. But you could yeah, have that's why. It. That's why I wanted to watch this, because I feel like the champs that I play don't have, like, as much solo kill potential. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, I play Zero and Oriana, right? Like, if I'm yeah. playing against, like someone who's kind of bad like i can just run them down the lane with oriana especially if i have phase rush and i can just space them out and kill them right like i'm not saying it's mm -hmm. impossible to so like not solo kill your opponent They're but lower, like, lower kill pressure yeah yeah but like seeing how many mistakes that i made just in this vod alone through the first like three waves is like you have to i have to actually punish these mistakes yeah. because otherwise i'm just doing exactly what their champ wants to do because right now like if he just wanted to crash the wave and just roam bot like he he could right you know like especially yeah. if he took tp he could just roam bot and then just recall and then tp back and i he wouldn't miss anything and he would kill my bot lane right so right that's like the other side of the coin not only are you opening up yourself to uh like be able yeah. to roam and make plays but you're making sure they can't which is the big yeah. thing versus these like coin flip champs you're talking about if yeah. you are freezing like this versus other matchups too like that's definitely mm -hmm. a big problem um yeah like I said, freezing is situational. Freezing is a situational thing to like punish bad roams or bad recalls. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we want to make sure we're trying to push majority of the time. Um, <clears throat> so Ori has a little bit more kill pressure than Azir because Azir's yeah. alt, it, like Azir's more of like a push, 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 be ungankable. Um, yeah, for sure. Whereas uh, Ori can really like. Once Ori gets some points in her Q, uh, well, yeah, you're going the W, but, but once she gets some yeah. points like level seven, eight, and she has her alt, she can really yeah. start. Yeah. For sure. Pressure people. Okay, so this is a good example. <clears throat> so right here, now he he so the waves even, but mm -hmm. he he is stronger, and so you just run up and you Q W him here. Mm -hmm. Why? <clears throat> um, I don't know. To be honest, like I think, I think I started to realize I was like, I think I need to start trading with this guy and like actually using my spells because I think I realized that I had a lot of mana and like I think I still have both of my pots, but I was like, yeah, I still have both my pots. I was like, okay, I think. I so, so the what the reason why I'm asking is because yeah. so let's say this guy's not a bot, and mm -hmm. you walk up in QW like you did, and instead yeah. of him just running away like a bot. He walks yeah. forward and double autos you after his Q hits you. Yeah, he would, like, mega chunk me. Right. You lose that like trade. It, he, yeah, he wins that for sure. Yeah, it, it would be... You would lose that really, really hard. So, yeah. how do we prevent that? Like, so if, if... So, because what you did was you forced a yeah. trade where 
if you're going to run at him like this, you're basically accepting that you're going to get hit by his shit, and, yeah. and he's going to get hit by your shit. But, as yeah. we can see, you don't win if you do that. Yeah. So, how do we change the approach to this kind of trade? Like, what's a better trading pattern than for going against Akshan? This also applies to Syndra. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Oh, okay. You good? Yeah, sorry. I hit something on my keyboard, so it says my mic's muted. You can hear me there, right? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Um, Sorry, can you say that last sentence again? I, sorry. Yeah, I so... Yeah, you're good. So, we we know that you lose if yeah. you guys just trade abilities with each other. Because he's yeah. an AD champ, he is passive as bullshit. Yeah. Um, so, how, it, how do we adjust the trading pattern and like the approach to this if we know that, now that we know you can't just run up and, and beat him like that? Like by auto-spacing, right? Like, like you were talking about, I have to like run forward, or like run forward a little bit, and then he chases me, and I walk backwards... And then as he's running towards me and I'm walking backwards, that's when I throw Q. Or, well, that's that's part of it, yeah. And the yeah. other thing is, this is also really important for Syndra, where okay. certain champs and matchups, they have a very specific ability that yeah. will pretty much guarantee they win that trade, but then the cooldown will be yeah, a little like bit longer. Down, like windows, right, where you can retaliate whenever that cooldown well, is So is the down, right? the key here is, like, baiting that ability first yeah. like not yeah. face tanking in, so like if you're against Syndra your mm. job is to try and get her to whiff the stun then you have yeah. control over the lane yeah for sure so it's similar to this where instead of face tanking him you run mm. it notice the moment you ran at him he sent Q yeah. right at you so you run yeah. at him you preemptively click to the side he whiffs then you trade yeah yeah okay so any kind of matchup where like you lose if you guys just hit each other with everything yeah. That's how you need to approach it. Um, yeah. That, as you can see, this dude runs away when he should yeah. hard stomp that trade right there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Tower's going to help you thin the wave a bit. Yeah, to be honest, the next, like, three minutes just kind of looks like this. Like, I don't think... I think that we just end up playing this out, and then... I think at level six, I get ganked, and I live the gank, but I have to flash. And then I, like he shoves the wave in and I grab the cannon and I recall while the wave is like right here. And then I TP back and then I get ganked on the dragon timer and then my bot lane dies. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happens. Okay, we'll get there. Um, yeah. So right here, so I have noticed though, you do miss, mm -hmm. like these close range cues on Ori should not be missing. Yeah. So if they're missing, then it, it's a definitely a mouse so it could literally just be you not focusing exactly where your mouse needs to be. Like this isn't really. It's a. It sounds like a two head concept. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Like this helped me with my Z W E Qs like more than anything. It's just like literally yeah. just focusing on putting my mouse on them. Like like you're playing an FPS game. Yeah, for sure. Um, because these should have missed. Not like when he's you know spacing properly, then it's okay to, for them to miss. But that should yeah. never miss. Yeah, like side to side. If he's juking side to side, he's he's not dodgy. Wh what do you lose this? Uh, I'm diamond three, and this guy was diamond two. Yeah, see, so this is what I'm talking about. This action, if I didn't know what rank this was, I would assume he's silver. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, like, yeah. even though this champ carries these players so hard in lane, yeah. it also gives them, like, exploitable... It's kind of interesting if you think about it, how that works. Like, yeah, they're carried, sure. but then it creates exploitable moments somehow. It's weird. Yeah. Anyway... Not to get off topic. Um, <clears throat> so this guy is very beatable with the way he's playing. He refuses to auto you. That's all he needs. He doesn't need to do anything but auto you to win. That's why yeah. it's so fucked up. So he could be... So look, he still has this potion, even though he's been griefing the whole time. Mm -hmm. Like he, he should be so much lower HP than he is, and you should have so much more control over the lane than you do. And now the reason why this is important Oh, ex you know, other than all the other stuff we already talked about, yeah. is you said like you're gonna get ganked or whatever. Like, so you not hitting him makes it so it's that much harder for him to die to a gank. Yeah, yeah, like, sure. Every little thing in this game, every little bit of damage you take, every little bit of damage they take, all of that stuff can make the difference. Yeah. How often do yeah, people I'm, live with one HP? You know, like, like yeah, like all the time, all yeah. the time. Like I'm, I'm starting to realize that because. 
Like, this game could have been a lot different if I would have played my lane correctly. Right, and that's why when, like, you are trying to, like, review your laning and stuff like that, it's, like, a lot of people get caught in the trap of, like, oh, let me look at this death or this kill. But it's, like, it's the trait. It's these moments, these small ones, because they add up, and that's what actually makes the difference. Yeah, because, like, I... Like, I can bot review myself, and, like, outside of just making, like, super apparent, like, mistakes, you know what I mean? I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. That was kind of grief. But, like, I, like, I watched this, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. I did what I, like, I did what I set out to do, and I lost, so this kind of mm-hmm. sucks, you know what well, I mean? But, like... There's a bright side there. Honestly, a lot of the people I coach don't have a fucking plan. They just kind yeah. of go, they play off a feel. It's like, you're on a really good path, actually. Like, you're... You're doing the things that I used to do when I was learning, like watching VODs yeah. of matchups you struggle with, going into games with a very specific plan. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it's figuring yeah. out why it doesn't work is the yeah. is the key, which can be hard sometimes. Yeah, um, it, it feels super hard because, like I said, like I like I watched this and I was like, like I like the level three timer is like super eye opening. I did not, I just completely honest with you, I was not thinking about that in game, and I definitely wasn't thinking about it in the VOD review. Like when I, at least my personal one, I was like, yeah, I don't. Like I said, I I did what I set out to do, and it it went pretty poorly. But would you I mean, say, it's easy to say that whenever? Would you, would you say in other matchups you're w- uh, more aware of the level two and three advantage? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, that's yeah. what I thought. I, yes, that's normal yeah. too. So yeah, what happened there was is like because this matchup is like kind of cancerous, and you're trying to go in with a specific plan, it kind of yeah. overwhelmed your mental stack, and you lost like you didn't have enough there to focus that, on yeah. that too i just didn't i didn't have enough like bandwidth i right. guess exactly that's, to describe it on like that's, how yeah yeah that's literally what it is exactly yeah. and that's that's normal so yeah. that's why um so like the fundamentals of the game the, mm-hmm. the most basic fundamentals level two advantage level three advantage that stuff yeah. is always going to take priority over like anything so like yeah, for sure that stuff can't go um yeah and that alone would have been a big deal here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, there was no, like, champ-specific interaction here that, like, kind of right. lost me this game. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's really easy to play the way that I played it and just, like, grab CS, especially whenever he just, like, full pushes the well, entire time. W- wait, but, it seems easy. Trust me, yeah. th- if this guy plays the game, it would not be easy. He would contest yeah. you every single CS you go for, and it doesn't matter what you do because he has fleet, he has the shield on his passive, and he's yeah. pushing, so he can he can contest you all day, get a CS advantage. He crashes the wave, resets before you, and it just rinse yeah. and repeat. So it seems yeah. easy, just because this guy doesn't know how to lane. Yeah, but that's a trap yeah, for sure. <clears throat> um, now basically, yeah, the point is, all these small things are are could, will make a big big difference. So it's any window that you could trade, and he's yeah. like trolling that you need to punish so this one you missed it's fine you can't land everything that should land but it's fine now yeah. here though so with your next wave coming mm-hmm. you like look at this guy like look at him look at him look at him yeah he's just like what well, yeah like i, sh- I should hit this guy here for sure he he needs to take a lot of damage here yeah that's so grief now that i look at like if i look at that snapshot like the fact that i don't hit him there is really really bad and like i get it I banned this champ. I never am going to see that. I'm not going to see this champ in one of my games for a long fucking time because he's yeah. disgusting. But he's walking into a cannon wave. Yeah. So you win this trade so hard if you just don't give him the. I mean, if you even if you give him his Chuck E. Cheese passive, the yeah. shield will eat a little bit of minion damage, but he'll still lose the trade. But you can yeah. play this in a way where you don't let him proc it. You just Q, yeah. QW, outspace him, and then the yeah. wave just shreds him. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. And then this this chunk that you should get here, yeah, gives you full control over the lane. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But look, see, that yeah, could not I, happen. Yeah, yeah, that was really bad. But like I said, I get it. It's obvious you are obviously a bit more afraid of him. I mean, you should be, but yeah, fundamentals. That's the thing. Yeah. Fundamentals. Yeah. So yeah, this guy, this guy got away with one. I lost this game, but I still feel like this guy for sure got away with that one because I. I could have played this way better than what I did. Mm-hmm. And then look, so when I say the like the trickle down effect. Okay, so let's yeah. say you hit him there, and then yeah. here you hit him again. So that brings him, to, let's just say, fifty percent HP. Then yeah. if he's fifty percent here, you can defend your wave, and he has to yeah. hold that the whole time. And then you yeah. 
push the rest of the wave, and then you either turn that into a dive if he if he takes more damage, or you turn it into a uh, recall before him. You grab a dark seal, come back the lane, yeah. and you're looking good. But yeah, like I could like I could like chunk him here too, and then like I don't even necessarily have to crash the wave, right? I could just yeah, like chunk still... him and then back and then TP, and then I'm full HP, and I can just permanently shove waves into him because unless he recalls and sacks a wave, like he's just well. He's, he's going to be on the map with no HP, so he's basically dead, right? It would depend. Like, so you wouldn't want to TP unless, like, the wave's frozen and he has to leave. Yeah. But right, yeah. But, like, or if you crash it, then TP, that's that's fine. Um, yeah. Because then you can keep pressuring and he never gets yeah. a recall. But the point here is, the big takeaway here, mm -hmm. is that, like, you not punishing him in these spots makes it so you can't defend your wave here. And he can do the same thing he just did earlier. Yeah. Where he's now thinning out your wave, so you lose control of the lane again. It's like, yeah. that's what this has been this whole time. It's like, you get a window to get control. He gives you windows every time. He walks yeah. up to give you HP. He fucks up the wave. He does. I mean, he, to be to be honest with you, he hasn't done a single fucking thing right. Yeah. Literally. Sure. Not a single yeah. thing right, this guy. Yeah. So the fact that he isn't getting bodied for it is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, okay. See, like, now, now you can't do anything. Yeah. He's he's yeah, taken sure. taken over just by double autoing. Yeah. Um so now you got to clear the wave a bit. And now look, like look, your ju your jungler is invading like because of the how the wave is, you can't stop if if Akshan wants to yeah. go somewhere. Yeah, like I thought that Wow, this happens a lot actually. Now that I'm looking at this and like thinking about my other games too cuz I'm like I don't like I think this guy invading here is like a bad play cuz I don't have Prio, like mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that bad, I guess, because he has top Prio. But regardless, that's a it very is. short timer, like for him to. It's a very short timer for them to do anything actually like good before Akshan actually gets there, right? Mm -hmm. But if I play my lane correctly, then this situation never comes up in the first place. Exactly. Like, and now... I, I have Prio because he's fucking this up, and then I can move, and he has to stay yes. instead of it being the other way around. Now the thing to understand, though, going back to what we originally talked about, like right at the start, is like. You yeah. can't force scenarios like this. You know, yeah. like, that's the tr problem with this kind yeah. of matchup. It's like, if he knows what he's doing, you will never get Pryo, ever. Yeah. So, is it, would you say it's like the same concept with Victor? Um, or is it kind no, of No, no, no. Victor's way different. Okay. Yeah. We can okay. talk about the Victor matchup because that one t a lot of people struggle with uh, yeah. until they understand how to play versus him. So, yeah. Um, but the main thing here is, you do have to play the matchup properly, meaning, like, level one, you do have to let him push. You can't contest him. Yeah. Um, but then you punish the mistakes, which give you openings. Now, yeah. so we've seen that there was a top play where you could have dove, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, look at this. So I actually, I do end up going bot. I think it's afterwards, because I think, because they, I don't remember. But we do go bot, and we get a kill, but Well, the point is... You, this is a, one of those moments where you could already be like crashing waves under his tower yeah. and having like yeah. you could move to this. Yeah, because it doesn't happen until like two minutes from now anyway. It's not even the same. Like I'm pretty sure they back beforehand anyway. So that's that's the other way. You know, that's just like we were talking about. That's how you can outclass the enemy mid. Like if if I'm bot yeah, lane right sure. now and I'm getting dove by Ori level four, I'm like, how is our <laughs> yeah, action so yeah. bad? I'm, I'm pissed, dude. If that happens yeah. to me, for how sure. does Ori have pry over action in any way, shape, or form? Right? Like that's yeah. that's what I would be thinking. So. Yeah. When like this is best case scenario. When you have winning side lanes and they're low HP under top, like you have all the options. You could go dive top. You could dive bot. You can invade the jungle. You literally can do anything. Yeah, this game looks way freer if I just don't make mistakes like that. Like and, if I just take what he's giving me. Right, and this is why you know laning phase is everything. Laning phase is yeah. king. We got yeah playing the lane properly, and then knowing what to do. Like with what they're giving you now, this one, I to be honest with you, I wouldn't expect you to be able to even come to these answers in a VOD like this because it's a little bit more, uh, like advanced understanding yeah. some of the wave stuff early, understanding like all these concepts are just like you know learned over time, yeah, um, for sure. But like now you know, and it should help in like any matchup, no matter who it is. Yeah, I mean, even even the Ori trading pattern, like I. I definitely don't do that, where you kite back and then you stutter step and then throw it as they're walking towards you. I definitely don't do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to take that into it, my next games for sure. Yeah, use that shit for, uh, with any linear skill shot. And here's the best part. It works on Azir too, just a little bit different. So the best Azir yeah. players, one thing I learned the hard way playing first them, <laughs> yeah. is so 
he'll put a soldier down and then like he'll walk up in a sp in a where like you he wouldn't win the trade because you only have one soldier so it makes you want to walk towards him to hit him but then he just yeah. turns around you walk into the soldier range so yeah, then you go to walk, walk out yeah. and then he hits you that's how you like yeah. outspace people on his ear so it's very similar like that yeah. That ba making them walk towards you into your shit is actually a really yeah. important concept that Pete, and it's a kind of simple when you think about it, but it's hard to yeah. get to it sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, I was like, I do um, like one v ones with people. I think that's really what because like, I don't know. Watching this vod, you think my laning is really bad, which I guess like in a nutshell it kind of is. But I think it's gotten a lot better because I've been one v one in people that are a lot better than me. Mm -hmm. And like yeah, you know that you know that you know that clip from like. Korean solo queue, I think it's like Death and like Viper, where Death just like auto spaces the shit out of him mm, for yeah, like yeah. 10 autos and kills him on a tower. That dude did that to me like four times. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to rip my fucking hair out. How am I losing? <laughs> yeah. And he actually like went through the vlog with me and was like, you're like, your clicking is so bad. And then that's, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to like humble brag or anything, but I think I've gotten a lot better at that. So, so I just, it's hard. So a lot of the time, people's laning in like, spacing and and stuff like that is yeah. isn't actually so much of like micro and clicks as it is conceptual in understanding yeah. like where to move and how but, but like that's a whole nother thing i'd have to see yeah. stuff like that to, to know yeah, what the actual sure. issue was but yeah, yeah playing against better players that's how you really improve your lane quickly yeah. um and that's what's fun about the game like that's why i laning phase is my like if I had to say what my best skill is in this game, it's definitely laning phase because it's yeah. the most fun for me. So I put a lot of time into learning it, yeah. um, and it has an infinite skill ceiling. It, it like yeah, it, 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 you can always make it better, which is cool. Okay, so yeah. now the waves reset back to the middle, which is not the best scenario for you. Yeah. Um, so we can see actually if there's a way to prevent that. Odds are there wasn't. It's not worth the freeze here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hmm. Actually, you might have been able to. Okay. I, guess yeah. I probably. Uh, I don't know. So, I do you know how you could have got this slow push in the other way? It's well, a little bit of advanced wave uh, manipulation, but. I mean, I could just, like, walk forward, I guess, and just, like, tank it, right? Uh, no, that just, would like, freeze it. Wave. So. To get this oh, slow yeah, push, it's, was, I think it's three minions whenever you're playing mid, right? Like three casters and you can hold a freeze depending on where it's at. Uh, you can hold it for like a wave, but that's yeah. not even getting it to slow push the other way. So to, to get this to slow push the other way, you need to kill this wave as slow as possible. Meaning the tower needs to shoot as many shots as possible. Oh yeah, it's like the, the thing where, I saw that from a Reckless video one time. He was like, like the, the tower shoots once, right? And then mm -hmm. the tower shoots again, and right before the second tower shot hits it, that's whenever you kill it. Yeah. Yes, because right. yeah. you want to make sure that this wave is still alive when this gets here, so your wave stops. Yeah. Here, to hit it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I used to do that whenever I played top, especially in like bad matchups, because you can like it basically guarantees that you'll get like if I would have done that here instead of having the wave in the middle, it would have stopped like right where your mouse is, probably like mm -hmm. a little bit past that. Yeah. Like, but I basically guarantee myself like two more waves, basically, right? Yeah, and then you can start yeah. a slow push from there. And that's like, yeah, that's important, especially in these like rough matchups where you don't, if the waves reset, you can't do shit. So, yeah. like here, yeah, instead of killing this immediately, and like, see yeah. this? This isn't even dying yet. So you shouldn't even hit it. Yeah. 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 For sure. Um, so, yeah, you should only be letting every tower shot go, kill them as slow as possible. Cause look, your wave almost got here. Yeah. In time. Um, cause, yeah, it was literally just like yeah. two minions. Yeah, like two autos now it goes back to the middle yeah okay oh he finally decided to play the game he finally decided to actually try to abuse how strong he is early let's see what he does oh my god he's a bot yeah he like i, I don't even sure know what he's here. doing I can't even... so you started with e auto, i take auto, the auto. extra auto there yeah i i should have just autoed him back to trade. I knew that immediately as soon as I did it too. I was like, ah, oh, I should have turned, because I knew he was going to hit me anyway. So, like, I should just auto him just to at least trade something back, right? So, the other issue I have here is um, how early you used your E. Mm -hmm. um, like, he didn't hit you with Q before using E. So, like, his yeah. E's not going to target you. Mm -hmm. So, 
you should be either walking out of range to pull the ball to you, or just mm -hmm. like using Q after, like holding the Q, waiting for him to flip off of like this, and then you would yeah. Q him first, Q W, because yeah. using E this way, I like it's not going to consistently hit him on the way back and damage him. Like you, we want to be yeah. optimizing how you're using this. This Ori's E is like her, one of the most important parts of her kit. You know, manipulating yeah. where the ball is. You get you lose the resistances if it, you throw it out. The, Ori is most vulnerable when she uses E and then Q right after. Yeah. Because then she can't get the ball back yeah. to herself. Yeah, I definitely did that a couple times for sure. So, like, changing the order in which you use your abilities here is super important it's, when he... Yeah. Like, if he hit you with Q first and then he swings in, yeah, yeah, pull the ball to yeah. you and get the hell out. But yeah, here, you, you could just use QW... And then E, now you have the shield on you, the resistances, then you're using autos. Yeah. With resistances. So yeah. big, big difference. Um, because that's why Ori has like some of the lowest base stats in the game. Yeah. Because of the E. But Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you'd make this trade better. Because yeah, now now you lose the resistances. Yeah, now there's no way for me to like move it anywhere. Mm-hmm. Just so like you... like here, if I if I would have done it correctly and I still had my E, I could E and then shield the damage. And then not only that, I would have my Q up in two seconds, and I could run him back like, farther down the lane and then mm -hmm. Q him again. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, and, like, again, just from earlier, if he just had less, like, he should have way less HP here. Way, way less. Yeah. But. Okay. Froze the wave. Now he can. All right, so lane's starting to look a little little bad because now you're running out of mana. You're going to have to waste TP. Yeah, he still has had full like so. Luckily for you, this game he has no mm. winning side lanes because if he did, like, it, let's say you guys were reversed and mm. and he had the people pushing and had low HP, like he would just be shoving mid wave and he could just dive side lanes nonstop. Yeah, because you you don't you know because you're not winning. So if yeah. you were winning, he can't do that. But yeah, yeah. don't freeze it. No, it's like freezing here. It, like, tell me so. Freezing here could potentially punish, like, if he's going to go somewhere. But yeah, the thing is, you need to reset really badly. Yeah, so... Okay, sorry, continue. So, like, you're going to get more value out of letting it crash, let the tower help you clear this so mm -hmm. you don't have to use mana, and then hard push the next wave. If he gives you a recall, that's great. He should not give you a recall at all. Yeah. He should force you to TP. Yeah. Um, but freezing like this, like, this makes it so, like, you can't... Oh god. Okay, now you are gonna be forced to TP and you're yeah, you shouldn't even be leaving. You're just missing CS yeah. for no reason here. So yeah. So now that we've seen that this guy literally has no clue at all how to lane. You yeah. see why we can't let players get away with this shit? Oh yeah, for sure. That guy that that was really bad. I could have taken advantage of way more than what I did. Mm-hmm. And like like I said, I get it. It's scary playing versus this disgusting champ, but the blatant griefing. Uh, let me know when you want to swap to the other one. Um, uh, we, we can do it now if you want right, to. Cool, yeah. Yep. Probably a good idea. I mean, this is one we got a lot of value out of, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so the next one was the Azir. Uh, hold on, let me find it really quick. It was the... I played two today. Um, was it this one? That was versus Silas. I don't need to watch that one. I just griefed. Uh... It's the seven five and eight one. Seven five and eight. So the most recent one. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, Victor. Yeah. Yeah. So Victor, a lot of people struggle with Victor. Um, yeah. He's interesting because his power curve is is one of the more weird ones. It's like his level one's really strong. His level two's like okay. His level three's uh pretty good because he puts two points in E. And then level four he puts point in W, so he, he does, he's not that strong. Yeah. Um. And then he just, picks like, up. Uh, he picks up again, level six, and then level nine. Uh, so he's kind of all over the place. But most people struggle with him because they get like hit by the laser nonstop, and then yeah, they sure. they just feel like they get poked down over time. Yeah, that's definitely me. Is that like your main pain point? Yeah, like I don't know. It, I also like I, this guy actually didn't really do it a whole lot this game. He um. 
like I think that if they just go, I think you're supposed to start Q level one, right, on Victor, and he can just like walk up auto Q uh, auto, and I just like mega lose the trade level one. So e and Q both work depending on the matchup. I mean, this yeah. this guy you should never lose lane to because he started tier. So yeah, he's useless. Are you are you sharing screen? Oh, I'm not. Uh, might be. Let me share. That's okay. There we go. All right. So so Victor. Yes, his he he can like e people constantly. But the thing about him is his damage output, other than like the li little bit of laser poke and the Q, like that's it. He doesn't yeah. have anything else. So like a lot of people fall into the trap of they get poked and then they kind of sit back, and then keep getting poked. But every time he lasers, like you should be hitting the wave nonstop, like trying to yeah. push him. Uh, because if you push him in, like if you if you're pushing. His Q, he can't really use his Q that well because that, that'll actually give him minion aggro. So he really has to rely on the E damage. But yeah. he will run out of mana. And, and if you're pushing him in and he's poking you, like if uh, this is super important for like a TF or Victor. This is how I had to learn this. It's like yeah. TF can't out trade Victor ever, but yeah. you can out push him. So even if he does poke you down, you'll have like the lane tempo where like you will recall first and then you come back with items full HP and then he has to. Like, he can't get recalls really well without his uh, evolve. Yeah. So, like, you have to play that game versus him. You have to play the wave um, and not get afraid when he's poking. Because, like, you can't really dodge the laser, but you can make it harder. Yeah. So, let's see what this looks like. I should have been hitting the wave there. I don't know why. Yeah, you, sh you should be autoing the wave uh, yeah. at the moment. Just, like, with normal yeah. autos, you don't even need to use the soldier. Yeah. Still should be autoing the wave, auto the wave, auto the wave. Yeah, so you can kind of see it's so I'm curious. You went into the last game with a plan. What was the plan in this yeah. one? Um, just like I just didn't want to lose a lot of HP like in the early levels. I guess like I don't know. I just this is man. I feel like such a dumbass whenever i explain it out <laughs> loud but like this is how a lot of my games look and i yeah. just like, i have a really really high win percentage so i've just been like doing it every fucking game mm -hmm. so like like i said i used to die a lot so i was just like i'm gonna try to not ever die ever and you know once i hit two items i'm just gonna hands diff everybody that yeah, was basically so... my, my thought process behind it so azir the reason why like my win rate on azir is pretty high because like, he, the only thing Azir actually lacks is, like, solid kill pressure. But yeah. he has the, like, the, the pressure in lane. He, he mm -hmm. can pressure lane very hard. He can push very hard. He's ungankable. He can set up ganks. He can hit the, yeah. like, he can hit the tower. Uh, you know. Yeah, this champ is, like, crazy. Yeah, he's, like, he's really he has, good. He has everything. But you have to do the things, like, because you don't have kill pressure, like, you need to do those other things. Like, you yeah. need to be pushing you need to be pressuring um that's like his thing pulling jungle pressure like there's no world ever they can gank you it's like if you're yeah. if you're playing right his ears ungankable unless they yeah. you know oh have, yeah for sure have like nautilus and there's all you and shit but either even yeah. then point is it seems yeah, like every time i ask you like something you're like well way. i just don't want to die or i i don't want to lose hp but you needs to go yeah. the other way like yeah. it needs to be i want to like this guy has tier the moment you see that, you should be like, oh, I'm going to fucking run him over. Like, he can't do yeah. anything. How can this guy lane with tier? Yeah. Like, the amount of times I say that when I'm streaming and I'm playing, I'm like, wow, look, this guy started tier. Like, the stream can vouch for me. I'll say, this guy's, wow, this guy started, yeah. this guy started tier, and I solo yeah. kill him level one, level two, level three. Like, they will die. They cannot survive. Because, yeah. like, they literally don't have the combat stats. This, yeah. this shit's cracked. 18 AP? 90 HP? Yeah. And... Actually, I think Tier actually does more, lets you give you the five physical damage minions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he literally just has more mana. So that means yeah. you should be walking up and kicking the shit out of him. Yeah, I fleet too. I, sh I should have been trading autos there. Um, and then now, if you clear this, now there's only two range left. Go put a soldier down. Look, look, see? You're walking backwards when he has yeah. no minions to defend him. Yeah. And remember, I think I was nerv I think I was nervous about him taking Q level one and just like Q autoing me. 
Well, that even if but, he QRs you, like you win the extended fight after that, and he has no minions. Yeah. Like if he has minions to defend him, you can't take an extended fight because the minions will yeah. overtake you. But he yeah. has no minions to defend him, so like yeah, he could Q auto your, like you could space him to where like you walk up and do that thing I'm talking about. W make yeah. him walk towards you, but yep. you'll win no matter what here. Yeah. So, and remember, like Azir's W does like if unless they changed it. Wait, did they change it? Okay, cool. No, they didn't. So like Azir's W, like his soldiers, if you're like if you're just hitting purely them. He yeah. does more damage. So when he doesn't have any yeah. minions surrounding him, you, that's like the best time. So like he's out of position. For, like yeah. that's literally he's making a mistake. He's just autoing yeah. in front of you, and you're kind of just letting and him I'm do. Just it. like to letting him do whatever. Yeah. On top of he's that, about to do, he, he's about to do it again too. Right, and like so on top of that, Azir sitting on two charges of soldiers. Like that's normally you're playing around the charges, so you don't yeah. normally want to sit on full. You, you want to have one recharging. All the time. Yeah. So, like, you yeah. should just put one down. That makes it so you're not wasting mana regen, not wasting charge, not wasting yep. soldier charges. That yeah. you would contest the CS, you grab this one, and that's yeah. like how this goes here. Yeah. But he has to take damage. Like I said, this all adds up so much. This one, too. Yeah. Every single time. Look, he's just doing it for free. Yeah, this is so bad. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty bad, but you can see it at least. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, see, like, yeah. But then look. Now his next wave is here. So, like, he just did that whole thing where he was out of position the whole time, and now yeah. you can't, like, really go in. And now, yeah, now that it's bad for me, I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's go. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, and now, you should at level two first here, but yeah. look, look, see? You guys hit yeah. level two at the same time. How? Yeah. Yeah, because I let him do it. I could have zoned him off the wave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which we're seeing that a lot in both of these things, where, like, you not walking, just walking forward and like punishing them makes it so yeah. they have too much freedom. Yeah, that's like half of laning. It's like not giving yeah. them the freedom to do that shit. Because like the whole like play to scale thing, you know, mm -hmm. like it, it in some games, yeah, like you will just outscale people. But first of all, as the game as you get into higher elos and go against better yeah. players, that's not going to work. They're just going to start beating you in lane. Um, yeah. Second, like you, as you can see, there's some games that are lost before you can even make it to scaling. Yeah. So, you. That's why these first ten minutes are crucial. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. And you never proc your mana flow, by the way. Like you should be procking that off cooldown. Yeah. Um. Q. I don't know. I used to like. I used to, like, always use my abilities to farm CS, so I think I just took it, like, again, just to, like, the polar opposite, where I was like, I'm never going to use my abilities to CS, that way I can use it to poke, and well, then I don't poke, and now I'm just standing there. Right, I was about to say, like, yeah, you shouldn't use abilities to see like, Azir is different, of course, like, soldiers yeah. autoing them is different, but, yeah. yeah, you should be using abilities on them, but, yeah, you're not doing either. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're not hitting Yeah, them, I'm, like, I'm just, like, standing there, yeah. yeah. And you're giving him the kinds of trades that he wants, like, remember, like, the trading patterns, everyone's going to have a different things that make the trades favorable so for like victor he yeah. wants to literally do this right here and then quickly q auto or q yep. and walk away but literally yeah. like you need to make him walk through your goddamn soldiers for this shit <laughs> yeah like, yeah he should be taking a soldier auto here i should have w autoed for sure yeah. and then another one and then another one and then another one and then q yeah. as he's running <laughs> away and then another yeah. one yeah that is how azir trades yeah you're giving him the exact trades that he wants. Just nice and small, one little auto, shield the soldier damage. Yeah. Perfect. Ah, nice. Sitting. Looking good. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it feels so gross to watch it. So right here, like, what is this? What is this W right here that you used? Right here on this, on this one. What's that? I have no idea. It's so bad. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. It's so bad. So why is it bad? Explain to me why it's bad. Because I should have, like, first of all, I can just auto that. Like, there's no point mm -hmm. of using W there. I can just auto attack it. And yep. then whenever he walks up like that, I can W, Q, and then poke him. Right. And what's the, like, why do you have such a big advantage right now? Because I have more minions. Level three to level two. Again, like, last, like the last one. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fundamentals. So, yeah. this victor's a griefer. Uh, but like, look, it's like, you're playing like he has, like he can body you or something. You're wasting yeah. a soldier charge. 
Like, Azir soldiers that. are supposed to go on top of them, and then you queue to chase them, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. So, this dude getting away with murder just like the other guy. Look, look at him. Yeah, I just, yeah. So, like, Golly, if, dude. he just did that. Imagine if, you, like, this was correct. Like, imagine if you put the W down as he went to do that. Then he goes to disengage here. And yeah, then, you get, like, an extra, like, four autos for free, right. basically. Right, exactly. And then now, like, like... You know how we talked about in the last VOD where you're like, I just need to not lose enough HP so my rebound wave, I can actually use it. He's yeah. in that same spot, but he's yeah. giving you the chance yeah, to make sure you still, or so he doesn't have enough HP. Yeah, He's giving you these windows. Look, look at the free damage. It doesn't yeah. even matter if you take some damage at the moment. Like, you will out-trade him if you just trade. You just keep backing off like way too early. So he's getting away with a lot of shit at the moment. Um... I like, see this stuff right here like wait what he just did to you this is all because like you were too afraid like look yeah so like think about it like this where you're why I'm not I don't know why I'm not walking up and WQing this guy right see like you're playing this like imagine if he's a Zareth why would yeah. you want to stand outside of your own range but in yeah. Zareth's range yeah, that's it's so the same bad. thing. So if you're up here, if you're up here and your soldier's mm -hmm. right here, he has to either back up or he's just getting shredded the whole time. Yeah, because yeah. Other instead, look, you're just giving him max range ease that you can't even. What can you yeah, do about this? Even, yeah, I can't even dodge it. Right, you you can't dodge it because like like I said, Victor Laser is up to him to miss. But yeah, that this is the thing. Like it's fine if he hits you with this, but you can yeah. be hitting him back. Yeah, I need to retaliate. I can't just let him have that for free. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about, like, with why people struggle versus Victor. Like, they just let him yeah. do whatever the fuck he wants, but he's really not, he, like, even that he can't do. Like, every single yeah. time he's stepped up like this, you win. Literally, not only because he's trading at the wrong times, but he loses even harder because he's a goddamn tier. Yeah, this is this is a highway fucking robbery, dude. Like, yeah. Dude's getting oh. away with murder. Okay. Should pop your pot. No reason not to. Just making yourself potentially yankable. Yeah. Okay, so now you can't walk up. Yeah. Like, this is a scenario where, yeah, you, you can't walk up here. You don't have any minions. He's level 4 now. Yeah. Um, Now, he shouldn't hit level 4 before you, but... Yeah. So now you need to thin. Now, so it's okay to put a soldier down here to, like, help mm. you thin without having to take damage, but you yeah. gotta... That's shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, th that means you weren't thinking about this the way you needed to be thinking about it. That means, like, you just saw him and you're like, oh, let me use Q. Yeah, for sure that's what I was doing. When you need to be out of his range. And again, like, if you're back here and you have a soldier there and you constantly make it so he needs to walk through the soldier to hit you. Yes, okay. Jesus. That's man. how you punish them overextending. Yeah, yeah. Because then you're just thinning the wave, thinning the wave. He's trying. He, if he tries to stop you, he's walking through your soldiers. He's taking too many autos. Now suddenly you're going back in and the lane's over. Yeah. But. Yeah, I'm just doing exactly what he wants me to do. Right. We just need you to be. Like, it's basically you, you're you trading when you shouldn't and you're not trading when you should. Um, yeah. But it makes sense, right? You're seeing. Like, you're overcomplicating yeah. it. Like, this. Yeah. You know, it's not like this dude's playing well. It's like. Yeah, he's not. You're kind of losing to yourself in both these lanes, really. Yeah. Um. Like right here, you do ha not have to be afraid of him right now. He's walking yeah. in your range minions. <laughs> yeah, I should just fucking hit him. Yeah, just hit him, kill him. Your his range minions aren't going to hit you. These these melees mean nothing. Put two soldiers down and shred him. Yeah. Then the wave's pushing to you. He's going to take and a bad like trade. Half, yeah, he's like half HP, and I have a Lee Sin jungle who's pathing upwards. I mean, right. He ganked, I think he ganked bot, but he he's still like concept wise, he he could gank mid here, and it would be good. Point is, you're afraid, like, see, and, like, you keep walking out of the range like it does anything. Like, you're still going to get hit. So you yeah. might as well hit him back. Yeah. Oh, God. Just don't take free damage. This is the same reason why people struggle for Zareth. Yeah. They, oh, like, yeah. I, pl I played against some, like, GM, like, 850 LP Zareth, and he just, like, like, I went, like, 0 and 10. I was like, wow, that champ seems kind of fucking OP. On to right. the next one. <laughs> and, and, and that champ sucks. <laughs> Like, that champ's yeah. actually garbage. Now, <laughs> yeah. Zareth has always been, like, a, an okay matchup for Azir. It, it used to be much worse when Azir's base movement speed was lower. Yeah. Uh, but now that his base movement speed's higher, it's, it's actually not that bad of a matchup. I played it the other yeah. day. 
Um, yeah, he just like hit me. He just hit me with every cue, and I just like I was like, man, I can never trade back. I just feel like this guy hits me from a thousand miles away, and then I watch his fight, and I'm like, wow, maybe I just suck. You know, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> it's like stuff that sounds obvious and looks obvious once like you someone points it out, but yeah, like yeah, against these long range champs, you're gonna get hit. Yeah. Like Zareth Q, you're not going to dodge them all. The important part is you don't take free damage and you yeah. trade back or you play the wave. And like yeah. against Victor and Zareth both, or any champ that can poke, mm -hmm. making sure you're to the side of the wave so they can't hit the wave and hit you. And you, yeah. Very important, especially for something yeah. like Zareth. Because yeah. then he has to choose. So like I went against Poe Belter the other day and I was playing Zareth and he was playing TF. And like he knows yeah, how to play the I TF matchup. Video, yeah. Right, so like he's playing the wave. So even though I'm poking him nonstop, I can't do much about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because he's actually like taking my the cooldown timers and pushing. So then I'm I'm like then he just gets, you know, he, he doesn't really lose out much and he can recall it whatever. But same thing with Victor. Same thing with Zareth. So like here the wave's gonna uh, yeah. And this dude's like using E on the wave nonstop. He's trolling. I like, see that is shit. Yeah. Because you. Like trading isn't sh what should be on your mind right now. You have a whole wave crashing, cannon wave. You should be killing the cannon before anything. Then, sure, you can look to trade and contest him. Yeah. But you gotta like kill the cannon first. Like your soldiers draw aggro, this cannon will beat the shit out of you. Yeah. Okay. So and especially with the tower, look, the tower's even focusing it for you, bro. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna hit level five, oh, and then you go in and you kill so him. Cringe. <laughs> it's so cringe. Look at him. I don't he's... even punish this. And I missed the cannon anyway. <laughs> Fucking dude. Oh my god. And look, see, he's like just spamming abilities on the wave to try and reset. Like that's a mistake too. Yeah. He's like yeah. forcing the reset. So if you have your abilities, you just go in and punish. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, gotta like see now you're level five. You could should be going right in here. Look at him. Look at him. Look yeah. at him. I can just like Yeah, he I don't I don't know what this guy is doing. This is so bad. Right. He's just fucking trolling. Yeah, this is so bad. I don't like... Golly, man. And he just... And again, this is all with tear. He yeah, hasn't even used pots. So, it's so bad. Oh, dude. He has cookies and two pots still. And he started tear. It's not like Azir's some godlike strong early laner, but... You know what's crazy, though? Is I was thinking this, like... He goes Sarah because I saw Dunn build Seraph first. I was like, wow, that looks really strong. And then mm -hmm. this guy did it and built Seraphs and did like so much damage. I was like, wow, that tier start is really good. <laughs> that actually came out of my mouth. Oh my god. Yeah, first base you buy tier. So yeah. start Dorans, then tier. Um, so otherwise you're gonna get bullied by anybody. Um, yeah. Except for me, apparently. <laughs> Except for you for now. <laughs> for now. Oh yeah. my god, he's still trolling. Oh my god, please kill him. Please kill him. Oh, dude. <laughs> like, this needed to be W, just, E, and just, Q. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, just, been so, I could at least get his flash, for sure. Please look how much damage you do to him because he has tier real fast. Just in this little yeah. exchange. Okay, that's one auto. His shield ate it. Okay? Yep. There's a normal auto. There's another auto. Mm -hmm. I should look. just EQ. Yeah, look. He has no fucking mana, dude. What am I doing, bro? Because I would EQ and get the charge, and this guy would be so fucked. Do you see how much damage you did? It? Like This was the first time you finally did what I was just saying. Where <laughs> yeah. You hit him with auto, auto, auto. He runs. You move the soldiers forward and auto him again. And you did 50% of his health. Yeah. That's what should happen. Should have happened literally every single time he walked up to you for no reason. Yeah. So. Oh, man. It's okay. Yeah. We've learned. Yeah, well, this is a big learning moment. Holy moly. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know what ends up happening here. I don't even remember. This game was a full blown fiesta. Should try to play for six, but it's gonna be tough. You could go in here, but yeah, a bit tough. Oh no, I do remember. It gets worse. Trust me. <laughs> it gets worse. It gets worse. It can gets always so get bad. worse. You should be just be pushing for six here. <laughs> it gets worse, dude. It's tough. I don't. Though. I. I don't die, but I for sure was like. It, yeah, you can just play it. <laughs> but, so this is tough. You've you've lost so much HP that like it's hard. You just need like four more minions, but it's gonna be hard to get those four minions. Yeah. With your current HP, if you can dodge a laser, then use that time. Yeah. Ooh. Try to walk to the side though. 
Oh, he can hit you this whole time. Yeah, you gotta walk, try yeah. to walk to the side a bit. You could, you could, like, see, right there. Yeah. He used his E. That's 10 seconds where you can walk up, proc fleet. Like, if you kill these three minions, you can hit six and kill him. <laughs> I, that dude for sure would have Q flashed me or some shit. That, that, you, have, you have E. You're fine. He can't kill you without laser when you have your shield. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that would have been a misplay by him. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, we're kind of... Oh, yeah, okay, we end up killing him now. God, this victor's a bot. Yeah. See, you were two minions from six. Oh boy. Luckily. I got, yeah, luckily this guy's a griefer. Yeah, he's so. He's <laughs> on 800 ping or something and yeah, didn't want to. Fucking dude, he's so mad when I watch it back. Oh my god. So, like, you knew you were going to go in an alt here. Why'd you put this soldier down? Because I, I, I don't know. I thought it maybe gave me like a better angle. Because if, like, if I EQ there, it just seems. That seems really dumb when I say it out loud. But like it. I, I see what know. you're I saying. I felt like it was, it was like a better angle almost, if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I see what you're saying. It isn't true. Yeah. But yeah, I see what you're saying. It's like. Yeah. This actually makes it harder by putting the soldier down. Because now the soldiers, when, they, when you move two at once, mm -hmm. it's not like accurate where you want to yeah. go. Yeah. That I, I can definitely. I mean, you can tell for sure. Because I ended up like beside yeah. him and not where it I wanted this. to go. Yeah. So, like, yeah, even if a soldier's right next to you like that, you got plenty of time. EQ, you'll go right to yeah. him. Yeah. And then this is free. Yeah. To be honest with you, I wouldn't... Like, this is op optimization type stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't even alt here if I were you. Or, like, really? Yeah, because, like, he's gonna see... He should see Leona in flash. So, like, I would just be standing next to him ready for him to flash, and then I would flash and then alt. But uh, that's yeah, optimizing. Okay. Yeah. That gives no. no that, that makes a lot of that makes a lot of sense actually. Yeah. Because he can't he can't react to your alt coming out. It's too fast. Yeah. yeah. So like he basically has to flash here, and then you just kill him. Yeah. And then I just follow him, and he's dead anyway, and he uses flash. Like somehow he saw Leona coming out for a while, never ulted. I mean, never flashed, and then ulted. And, yeah. Okay. This guy's a bot. Yeah. Yeah. See, these kinds of players, these two players you've gone against, are so clueless, and yet they've survived. The only way you could kill this guy is with the help of Leona. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's super bad. Okay. So I know, it's weird because like I'm I'm peaking right like this is the highest rank I've ever been. It's like D three D four D four like high LP. I guess like I think I'm D three like eight mm -hmm. LP or some shit now. But like he's like the highest I've ever been. I think I'm just giving like way too much respect to some of these players. You are. And I'm like Tr trust me. <laughs> yeah. Like after watching this lot, I'm like what? Because like I finished the game, I was like, man, that Victor kind of shit on me. Because he kind of did, and I was like, "That guy's kind of good." No, and now I'm no, like, "I'm no. like, wow, that guy was legit reportable for the way he played that lane." Yeah, none of these players know how to play the game. That like, so even like master players, like these players don't know. They yeah. don't over respect them because they are not good. Like, no, yeah. like I said, none of them know how to lane. So yeah. Um. All right, so we'll probably wrap this up soon. Yeah. Um. We've definitely got the main takeaways here. Yeah. Good news is, this is all fixable. It's not like... Like, the hardest thing to fix in this game is mechanics, but you don't have any, yeah. like, real mechanical problems. Like, some sometimes it seems like not focusing with the mouse, but... Yeah. Other than that... All right. Yeah, not fixing here. Okay, yeah, this is a good time to stop. All right. Yeah. Um, so, did the stuff... You know, all the stuff between these two lanes make sense? And do you have any questions on it? Um, no, honestly, not really. Um, and yeah, it, it definitely made sense. Like you said, I like I can bot review as much as I want, and I would not have realized that because, like I said, I I I think of myself as like a somewhat intelligent player. I guess I was like, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then I go into vods, and like I watched the, especially the Oriana vod. Mm -hmm. I was just like, like again, I was like, yeah, okay, like I had a decent plan, and I like did my plan, and my Lowy went two and eight. And my jungle <laughs> went through. So, unlucky. I guess we're just going to queue again. And that's what I did. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, now you can, get, like, incorporate these things. Try to play to make sure you have the... You were the one controlling the lane. Have the options. All the stuff yeah. we talked about. Um, yeah, for sure. Do you, um... Do you, are your Twitch VODs, like, public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can watch okay. this back over. All right, cool. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to. Because I, like... I have a hard time focusing. Also, I... Sorry, I apologize. I tend to ramble 
a little bit. Sometimes. <laughs> you're good. You're so, good. So if I t- if I just like get on a tangent and it's just like nothing, no, like, you're good. Feel free to just like, hey man, you, you need to be quiet. No, like, no, it's okay. okay. I've coached a lot of people that do the same thing, and like it, yeah. it's not, it's not, it wasn't anything a big deal. It wasn't annoying or anything. So yeah. you're good. Um, but so yeah, if you have no other questions, I'm gonna hop out of here. You can always ask me questions through Discord, by the way. Um, I got you, man. Seriously. Um. Thank you for your time. Seriously, I yeah. feel like I learned a lot. I got like coaching. <laughs> I got like coaching before. I guess I used to play top lane, mm. um, and just like it was a long time ago, and I was honestly I was really bad. So it was teaching me even more basic fundamentals. But like I said, just um, like picking up laning tips. I think because I think that that's really where my weak point is at. So mm-hmm. I feel like I definitely I feel like I definitely learned a lot. So again, thank you, thank you so much for your time, dude. Yeah, Seriously. no problem. I- I'm glad I helped. That's that's what I'm here for. So. Yeah, hit me up if you have any questions, um, and uh, let me know how things go, if, if you can apply this stuff, and we'll go from there. All righty. All right. I appreciate it, man. Yep. Thank you. Have a good night. Peace. See ya.